so, 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 so good. <laughs> hey, y'all. Welcome back to my vlog. Hey, y'all. What's up? Listen, I know y'all been waiting. I know y'all been waiting on this video. And I'm not even gonna hold you. I'm about to get right into it, okay? I just wanted to make sure that I was like kind of in a serene area. So that way when I started to film, you can catch the vibe. I want y'all to take a deep breath. Let's take a deep breath. Let's hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Are we here right now? Because on this vlog, I'm gonna talk about the supplements that I've been taking along with the Zoloft in order to help combat my depression, okay? Baby Rosie's here with me because we're at the conservatory because it's beautiful in here. What do the one that she Hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay, so that's my baby girl. And yeah. So let me start off by saying that I found out that I needed, if you want to know how I know that I needed these vitamins and supplements um, and that it was an issue with also causing my depression, then you may want to look at my vegan diet fail, where I talk about how I was vegan for 10 years. Uh-oh. How I talk about I was vegan for 10 years and how it really depleted my vitamin D. It had my uh, cholesterol levels very, very low and it was really interfering with my fertility then i switched my diet okay i switched my diet to incorporate animal products meat products and i probably was eating that for maybe about four years i probably was eating that healthy a healthy diet making sure i was taking all my supplements for about one year straight and then after that i was just eating whatever i was like i'm eating everything i missed out on okay so that's how i got to the point where um, my fertility was restored through my diet and I ended up conceiving royalty although my fertility was healthy and my diet was healthy enough for me to conceive I was very sick during my pregnancy and I did not take any prenatal pills or any other vitamins okay so that along with the circumstances surrounding my pregnancy um, caused my depression caused me to be to fall into a depression okay so that is a contributing factor to depression is diet you definitely want to make sure you're taking vitamins so since i'm out the house i did not bring the vitamins with me but i'm going to have to like have them drop on the screen somewhere the vitamins and supplements that i'm taking i'm going to have to have them like drop on the screen somewhere so that way you can see them because um so the the number one the main important thing was vitamin d my vitamin d levels were very low so vitamin d um and i take a vitamin d supplement my iron and my calcium was very low so i take an iron and calcium supplement i take geritol fyi so i'm taking a vitamin d supplement i'm taking geritol i'm also taking a mineral supplement um because i did form pre-eclampsia after i delivered royalty and ended up being readmitted to the hospital um and they had me on like magnesium so um i figured my minerals must be depleted um so i'm taking a mineral supplement along with a prenatal vitamin just to get all the just to cover all the vitamins so i'm on a lot of supplements y'all and i'm also taking um for my vitamin d um, the fermented cod liver oil um yeah a lot of supplements yeah so i'm taking supplements uh -huh. i'm taking vitamins a through z i kid you not a lot of b vitamins a lot of b vitamins y'all like b1 through b12 like the geritol is for um it's a high potency b vitamin so that's why i'm on the geritol and then the thing about depression is like it can hit anyone because it's a combination of the mental and it's a combination of the physical, okay? So that's what I've come to learn. So it's like, 
it's understandable that I would have fell into a postpartum depression because normally I handle stress very well. I handle stress very well and I've been in high stress situations and I've been able to tolerate it, but it's just being in a high stress situation where also my body's not, my, my physical is not healthy that's not a good combination and so that's what led to the deep depression also for me where i needed help to recover so realizing that you're probably going to need to make sure and this is like all makes sense like if you think about it uh, a well person is healthy mentally and both physically right so you may have to make sure you get an, an adequate amount of sleep like too much sleep is not good not enough sleep is not good like there needs to be no extremisms here okay so you need to get eight hours of sleep you need to make sure you're drinking water for me i need to make sure that i was eating a well-balanced diet especially recovering from a vegan diet so in the ve especially me recovering from a vegan diet where I need all the vitamins and minerals restored after 10 years I need all my vitamins and my minerals restored okay so and then at the point in my life where it's like I'm realizing that exercise is important because now I'm taking a turn this is a, a life turn for me I'm no longer um, as young as I was were young whereas in I don't really, I can still stay up all night and it's not really affecting me. It was getting to the point where it's now starting to affect me that I don't exercise regularly, that I don't eat healthy, that I'm not drinking enough water, that I'm not taking enough vitamins. And then on top of that, pregnancy, which basically after I had baby royalty, I felt depleted. I felt like there was nothing left in me. I felt empty and I can't explain it. Like maybe if someone else has had a child, if you can leave a comment and if you can relate, but it took a lot of life force and it took a lot of energy out of me in order for me to birth baby royalty, especially being depleted of all the minerals and vitamins that my body was depleted of. So, um, and I know you probably, if uh, somebody might be watching this and they're not suffering from postpartum depression, but if you are suffering from a depression, I'm telling you that it is stemming from you not properly taking care of yourself. So that's why I had to, if you see my vlogs where I started doing yoga and I really need to get back into doing the Mommy. yoga, where you see me doing the yoga, because it definitely helped me get back into a physical routine, get back physical, get back moving, get that blood flowing. Um, in a very easy way versus me just jumping into like a, a beach body program a 90 day program where i'm just like pushing myself to the max it's like start with yoga start with meditation start drinking more water start taking your vitamins start paying attention to yourself in that aspect getting back to the basics it's like going back to uh school i'm eating three meals a day two snacks making sure i'm eating properly though um making sure that i'm having my recess um which is me doing the yoga so even if you're not like i said even if you're not suffering you're watching this but you're suffering from some form of depression i'm almost certain that it's uh, a factor of that is that we need to reconnect with taking care of ourselves reconnect back to the basics uh, which is exercise diet um and per and self-care and so, um, yeah, I, I need to, um, I hope that I touched all the bases. Uh, let me think. Okay, y'all, uh, so I probably will leave um, the supplements that I'm taking, like leave a link in my description. And I'm really just doing this for you all because there is no benefit to me for linking these in the description. It's not like I'm getting paid from any of these um, vitamins companies for the vitamins that I'm taking, but I see that these videos have been very helpful to some. The people that DM me, the people that leave comments, I appreciate y'all. Um, I'm keeping everyone in my prayers. I promise you when I pray, I pray for my family, my friends, um, anyone around me. And if you're watching the vlogs and you are around me and you are part of my prayers, and I'm wishing you well on your um, journey to uh, better mental health. Wishing all of us well. I'm glad you're here. Thank you so much for being here. Make sure you all like, comment, subscribe. 
all that good stuff and i'm gonna see you all on the next vlog and um i want to promise that it won't be too long before i do another update on um my zoloft journey and mental health journey anyways y'all it's been real until next time y'all be easy peace